Um, I keep coming back to the idea of a sweet spot. That you, it's not about being 100% totally purely sustainable and having no carbon footprint. And it's about finding that place where you are on your edge. Meaning, if you did any less, you would feel uncomfortable and guilty. And if you do any more, it's going to, it's going to, you'll be unable to enjoy and appreciate your life. So you don't worry about plastic bottles, you throw them away and then you realize, oh my gosh, you get to a point where that suddenly feels like you feel guilt about that act. So you then shift your line and shift your behavior so that then you start not using recycled, you know, not using plastic bottles and using a, a reusable bottle. I'm now at a point where if I have to use, like if I'm, if I have to drink water out of a plastic bottle, it's like, I feel really, I feel bad about it. And so my line has shifted. Now there are things that I do that do not cause me discomfort yet. Maybe at some point they will. Maybe I'll get to a point where I, you know, never flush a toilet. I'm kind of on that line now where when I, when I, when I have to go pee, I'm, 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 yeah, I, it's kind of, I don't really need to flush it. Should I flush it? If I'm at someone else's house, I probably flush it. But you know, it's like, is that a, is that a bad example? All right, I'll promise I'll flush the toilet in your house. If it's yellow, let it mellow. If it's brown, flush it down. Um, and whether that is your work responsibilities, your relationship stuff, it's all about finding that edge where you can be not feeling guilt and, and not feeling stress and feeling like this is a joyful way to live. And ideally that line keeps getting closer and closer and closer to your true divine alignment with love. And so that those steps towards kindness, those steps towards peace, those steps towards sustainability and, and eco-consciousness, you know, and some people get, get you know, certain measuring sticks become much more important to them and, and some people get so pushed in some direction that they feel massive guilt about something and then they feel like they have to force everyone else to do it. And for me, what, I, what, what pushes my line is not being told you're doing it wrong, but instead seeing somebody whose line is farther and them demonstrating to me how it gives them a state of peace or it gives them a state of of righteous joy because they know that in their just day-to-day -day actions they are more in alignment with their divine selves. And I go, oh, does that resonate? Yes, I would like to be more, yes, that would feel good. I think I will start da, 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 da. and trying that on, trying it on until it becomes the new line that I then uh, live on. And you always experience people who are, you know, extreme in both examples. And I think our job is to be understanding and forgiving and loving towards everyone so that we can try to, through our demonstration, our role modeling, show anyone who has not yet seen things that, that, that in the line as we see it, feels inspired to move closer to it, and so that we can be inspired by those that, that are in another place until we get so far evolved, our line is so far that we poof, evaporate into pure white light mist. But I wouldn't hold your breath. Because the ride's fun. And riding that line is that that's the joy, that's the, that's the bliss of being a human being with, with this consciousness that is so intertwined and so linked in with heart and spirit and it's that, that, that divine line step in back and forth between the flawed humanness and the perfect divinity which is that perfect amazing cocktail of 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 the human experience so we forgive ourselves when we slip this way in the line and we don't get too righteous and self-congratulatory when we go this way and ideally, let our ego get more and more out of the way so we become a vessel, we become a, a opportunity for 
spirit to work through us. So thank you for the way you walk through the world, the line that you hold, the way that you inspire. Thank you for who you are. I love you. Namaste.